Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review this big projector. It is called HD Projector 4000. It is modeled CL760. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon. So this way you're going to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, click the like button, smash it. Also, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We really love to help you out ASAP. And it doesn't have an actual name when it came to Canada. So I ordered it from Amazon and here it is how this will really look. Remember that the box is really nicely designed and once you take the projector out, it has a lot of weight to it. And once you take that out, the components that are part of it is your manual. So that way you're going to be able to connect. It has a nice catalog in it so that we know exactly what you're going to check for and going to be playing with. I can see that the first part, it looks like it's a different language. And there you go. This is the English part of it. So it talks about the remote, what the buttons are and also the projector itself what you can do with it go on next and also the screen and how you're going to be able to navigate go into the buttons on the top which we're going to cover in this video and go on next with a rca connector so this we can connect it to your projector on this side and in this way you're going to be connected to your vcr or older system so you can play your movies also comes with two screws and we will talk about that in a little future telling you what you can do with that and on top of that it comes with a little lens cleaner which is beautiful a little ir remote it kind of looks like an android remote for the boxes that we always see it is a little bit nice and curvy so that we can sit on your hand properly but it has a lot of buttons that you can use something like play and pause and go and next for the volume and for the channels and going down, it has the navigation key and a numeric in the bottom. So once we connect it, we're going to check to see why we have this with the numeric buttons and also channels to see if it has anything inside of it. But it does also take two AAA batteries, which is not included in the box. Putting everything aside, let's look into the... All right, so the projector is sitting inside of a nice little cushion sleeve. And it does have a bunch of different writings on the top for caution. We're going to take that out and here is the projector. It's a very big, it looks really cool when you look at it and going around it so you can see from the front itself that it has a little slider so you can open it that we can see the lens and then going to the right side it has a lot of holes and those are just for ventilation and then going around it and if you look towards the right you have a really big place for your ventilation and then right beside that you have a very very loud speaker to the back portion of it then that's where you're going to see two usb 2.0 ports then you have two hdmis hdmi 1 and hdmi 2 then you do have a vga connection so that way you can connect this to your older type of computer and then you have the audio and av so you have the audio out this way you can connect it to your stereo system and then beside that you have the av connection and that's where that little adapter comes in play so that we can play your vcrs to this and then you have the ir sensor in the back now right underneath of it you have the power connection this is how you're going to power it up and then go on on the left side of it nothing really attached no fan nothing now looking in the bottom part of it you have some very small amount of holes for ventilation it does have some little spots that kind of comes out it do have four legs so it can sit on a flat surface but those screws have no place so we can screw it that way the face can be getting up a little bit it does have a little spot for the filter in, and also it has a little pot that you can open and that is where the actual lens sits in just in case if you need to clean it or move it around or you have to replace it looking on top of it is where it gets very interesting first from where the lens is right above it you have the focus and that is a little hard for it to move back and forth which makes sense because we do not want to touch it and it becomes really really touchy so your focus goes out and we will show you on the screen and then you have the keystone fixed so that way you can fix the screen to go up and down which we're showing you on the screen right now and then on the other side of it you have a bunch of navigation buttons just in case if you misplace your remote you can do everything 
on the project itself. Also have the IR sensor is also in the top so that way if you hook up your projector upside down on the ceiling this will still work for you. The native resolution on this is 1280 by 800 pixels which is 720p. It runs 4x3 or 16x9 aspects ratios without a problem. But there is some little ups and downs to it. So let's just go through and play something on the screen. So we had to hook it up and we came across a little bit of an issue that little screws in the bottom, there's nowhere that we can hook this up on this projector. So we put it aside and then we try to hook this up on our tripod. Another problem, there's no connector in the bottom that we can do that. So we had to position it on top of two boxes so we can put it on the wall. So we had to put some little boxes as I'm showing you right now on the screen that how we try to put this together so we can put something on the wall. And when that was done too, we got roughly about a 90 inch and then it started going out of focus. So yes, it is really good if you want to go more back and you want to play around but the screen will show that it gets a little shrink and it's not going to be really good on focus. So try to put this everything together and we start filming and we noticed that it was out of focus. So we tried one more time to get it in focus and voila. So we got the everything running. And what we did first is we start trying to play some videos that was on the Netflix and we start going through navigation and start playing so it was really good but you can see that the top right hand side was out of focus so we really try to focus it again and we try to play a video game again it came out really good but on a naked eye it looks really nice and in a dark room and it was really good and we start playing a little bit more going through so you can see that the lumens on this according to their paperwork is 4000 lumens and we went through and hooked up our phone to this so we can show you what type of lumens we're getting and it got roughly maximum about 2000 lumens we didn't reach higher than that even on the whites we try to see the noise on the projector itself without playing anything and we got this And now what we try to do is put it on maximum, maximum noise and we got roughly about 7, 70 dB, which is really good again. And if you are in front of it, it is very loud, very, very loud, but it's squeaking loud. So it doesn't have a really bass into it and it's just regular loud. So we hooked up a bunch of games and we start playing it and it was playing very, very nicely. So overall, you can see that what we try to accomplish out of this projector is a okay projector for the price that it comes on top of it. This was under 300 Canadian dollars. You can find these all underneath the video. Links are there. Remember, these are affiliated links, so it will help our channel to grow so we can get more these type of projectors to you guys and show you what's really good and what is not good about them. This is an LED light source projector and it runs roughly around 5000 hours according to their paperwork and it should work really nicely again this is 2000 and to one contrast ratio and i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you